Hello friends, good day to all of you and welcome back to my channel. So the festive season is back again on 14th Jan we are having a harvest festival in India which is celebrated in different regions with a different name. Tamil Nadu has named it after the ceremonial dish Pongal which is cooked on this day with a newly harvested rice along with milk and jaggery. Uh, in olden days this used to be cooked in front in the open in front of the house or a courtyard where the floor was adorned with rangolis and this was cooked in a clay pot using firewood. Imagine the rustic flavors the dish would have. But these days that is not possible because most of us live in apartments and we make use of pots and pans and pressure cookers to make pongal. Nevertheless, the spirit is always there and the dish tastes equally good. But I think in rural areas they still continue the same uh, process of cooking outside in a clay pot. So today let's get started. We'll make it at home using a pressure cooker. Sakkarai Pongal. This is a festive rice preparation made with newly harvested rice with the addition of milk and jaggery and lots of ghee which is clarified butter and garnished with cashew nuts and raisins. For this we will require 3 fourth cup of raw rice, take any kind of raw rice, quarter cup of yellow split moong dal, 3 fourth cup of organic jaggery, 3 to 4 tablespoons of ghee which is clarified butter, half cup of milk, 2 pinches of salt, 2 pinches of nutmeg powder, half teaspoon of cardamom powder, handful of cashew nuts halved, and some raisins. Let's begin with soaking the rice. Cover it with sufficient water. Set it aside at least for one hour or more. The pongal texture will be nice if you soak it for long. Now take a pressure cooker and heat one tablespoon of ghee. Add the moong dal first. We are going to saute it a bit. Wipe it dry with a cloth. Since we are not washing it, you can wipe it well before adding. So by sauteing, it will give a nice roasted aroma. Now add the nutmeg, salt and cardamom powder. Followed by the soaked rice. Now some people like to soak dal and rice together and cook. You can do th that way also. Now saute them a bit. Maybe for a minute or so. Now we can add water. I am adding two and a half cups of water. More will be added later. Now grease the lid of the pressure cooker this way so that the water doesn't come out. This is the tip. I have shared it many times. Now close the lid. And let it cook for three whistles. If the rice is soaked very well, three whistles is sufficient. If you don't soak it, then you add little more water and cook for four whistles. Now open the cooker after releasing the pressure. Rice is done very well. It's soft. You mash it with the ladle. Add the jaggery powder. Organic jaggery can be added straight away. And half cup of water keep mixing. If you are using the normal lump jaggery, you have to cook it with water, strain it and then add to the rice. Now mix it very nicely until the jaggery is melted. Keep mashing it also with the back of the ladle. Now add the milk. I am adding half cup give it a nice stir. If you don't want to add milk, you can also add water. 
stir it nicely add 1 tablespoon of ghee lot of ghee goes into pongal then only you get the real taste cover it and simmer it for a while after some time open the lid add little more ghee it has to be added two or three times in between while you are cooking while the pongal is simmering towards the end traditionally pongal is slow cooked on firewood in a clay pot imagine the flavors of that pongal must be so nice and rustic now heat the ghee in a small tadka pan Once it is hot, add the cashew nuts. Don't let it burn too much, because the fragrance of the ghee goes away when you burn it a lot. Keep stirring them so that they get fried evenly on both sides. Now add the raisins halfway through. Remove some for garnishing. Toss them a bit, bit more till they are golden brown. Now stir them into the prepared pongal. Give it a nice mix. Now, if you are serving immediately, this consistency is perfect. It gets thicker on keeping. If you are serving later, maintain it accordingly. Add little more milk. Now pongal is ready to be served. Enjoy the delicious pongal. little ghee on it garnish with some nuts again cashew nuts and raisins here we go so make this festive rice preparation and enjoy celebrate your pongal with your family and friends wishing you all a very happy pongal enjoy the festivities if you are a new visitor to the channel do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications about the new uploads here are some videos from the archives do check them out we'll soon be back with another new recipe bye until then have a nice day